one balloon of toxic gas. Look at that. I should have been wearing gloves here, but I couldn't leave this clip out. Now that was spectacular. <laughs> Howdy, my fellow wooden waters and charcoal chunkers. I couldn't resist trying a little old experiment using a little known chemical compound referred to as dihydrogen monoxide. It's pretty dangerous stuff. People have been known to drown in it and the authorities have been using it to dilute our beer and even our coffee for that matter. I found uh, very recently that I squirt this into the air intake on my charcoal gasifier I get quite a boost in engine performance. As a little experiment I figured I'd see if I could make this auto magic. Uh, so what I did was I made up this little water tank here with an output hose on him and a little outlet over here. The idea is that it would squirt steam into there. As this part of the gasifier gets massively hot, as you can probably tell by that there paint not being there. So hot milk glued this little puppy on and the idea is to boil the water that's in it. So what we have is water coming out of steam here, which I hope to be able to show you when I start the grunta. Now to fuel up this here tank of dihydrogen monoxide that comes down with the rain Yes, that's right, it's in our rain too I have this inlet system So you put it in here Something that serves like a funnel essentially Keep going Until the water starts to come out of the nozzle there To indicate that it's full Sort of like when you're filling up a diff on a car Then once that's done, you close this valve in order to let the steam come out once it's finally hot enough. And a bit of fluff in there to keep dirt from getting into the water system. I expect I'll change this in time as um, I think maybe a drip system. Drip onto a hot plate is the better way to do it. So let's see if I can uh, fire up the flare and get the, fan, the gas to fire up and running and uh, see if I can demonstrate this alrighty we got us a flare here I don't know if you can see it but there's a lovely blue flame in there look down inside the gas to fire and that's glowing quite nicely. If we get some dihydrogen monoxide, give it a wee spray, you'll see a bunch of steam coming off here. Okay, a lot of that steam got lost, but some of it got sucked in. Whether we're going to see a difference here, I don't know, because there's too much ambient light. But we will definitely notice the difference when the engine is drinking that water. Okie donkey. Gasifier's up and running. Running on a very lean mixture because the charcoal's nearly all gone. But um, when I throw some water in there, notice the difference. Let's give it some time. It's operating under a fairly heavy electrical load too to really test it. Give it time. Wow, that's amazing.
been a short while I'll idle back down. There it goes. This is my first day running it like this, so I'm learning as I go. this on. If I can make this part work I'll be happy. Steam is meant to come out of here. But I'm not sure it's working too well. Give it time to heat up a little bit. but you don't get as much electricity out of it so yeah um, I'm thinking to improve the performance of this might get a piece of say this stuff angle iron and attach it here to the body of the gasifier on both sides and couple it up to the heating tube here to get more heat into it um, that doesn't work my next solution might be 
to cap that off where it comes out of the steam port and make a little dripper right there and that will drip down onto something that will attach to the air intake which gets really hot um, I can hear a fly buzzing around oh that's a wood gas bug <laughs> Okay, it's staying off my neck, so obviously it's happy with results here. Um, so, fellas and fella S's, um, this is actually something resembling a success. Here's hoping you enjoyed your wood gas, charcoal gas, water gas fix for the day. Ciao for now.